Hi there, good morning. Hope you are well today. Well, who remembers playing catches as a child? Um, I wasn't very good at it, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. I remember us playing with cousins and friends and I would be running and somebody's catching me. I was supposed to be catching me and I would stop dead in my tracks and I just couldn't run anymore. As soon as I knew somebody's after me, I would stop. And I'm still like that today. If I'm climbing the steps in the evening, my husband Dion, he will make a joke of it and he'll come behind me and he'll start thumping on the steps um, and then I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you and I literally cannot move. I stand still in one spot. I'll say, you got to pass, you got to go first, then I'll come up. I just cannot handle that. Well, there was a man in the Bible named Jonah and he tried to run away from God. He tried to run away. Jonah chapter 1 verse 3, it says, But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went abroad and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. We see there, ran away from the Lord and flee from the Lord. Well, this is quite a hard one. God spoke to Jonah, we know, and told him to go to Nineveh. But Jonah decided to be disobedient and chose to run and chose to flee. Has maybe God spoken to you in your life about doing something or maybe stopping something? Uh, it could be anything maybe where God is just dealing with you in an area. And um, you, what is your response to that? What is your response today to that question? Are you choosing to run? Are you choosing to flee from God? as Jonah did. Are you trying to flee? Are you trying to run? I say try because I know that I know a person can never keep on running from God. You cannot hide from God. You can keep on running maybe, but you can never hide from him. We know in Jeremiah 23 verse 24, it says, can anyone hide himself in secret places? So I shall not see him, says the Lord. Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord. And then another verse in Psalm 139 verse 7, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? Well, we know that Jonah tried, but we know that he was swallowed by a big fish and spent three days and three nights in the fish's stomach while he was in the lowest season of his life. The absolute lowest season. I can't think of anything worse than that. The lowest season. We know he repented and he made right with God. He repented in that low, in that down, down cast state. He repented and he made right with God. But I love verse 6 where Jonah said, this is what Jonah says. I thought I was locked in this prison forever. But the Lord my God took me out of my grave and God you gave me life again you gave me life again I love the passion um song a glorious day I don't know if you've heard it you must take a listen to it if you haven't heard it a uh, glorious day and the, the chorus bit says you called my name this is speaking to God you called my name and I ran out of the grave out of the darkness into your glorious day you called my name and I ran out of the grave out of the darkness into your glorious day. How wonderful is that? Well, today you may be feeling like you're stuck in a grave. You may be feeling downcast. You may be just be feeling, I just cannot handle another day like this. I don't even know how I'm going to face the day or get through the day. I want to encourage you today. It may feel like that, but you and you can't seem to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It just seems so dark. But I want you to know today that God is waiting to give you life again. God is waiting for you to step out of that grave. Life and he wants to give you life and he wants to give it in abundance. He wants to give to you today. Verse 10 we know says that the Lord spoke to the fish. I love that. The Lord spoke to the fish and it vomited Jonah out of its stomach. You can know today that God is waiting to speak into your situation today. God is waiting to speak into your situation today. I want you to choose today. Make that choice to stop running. To stop running. Stop trying to, to flee. You're never going to get away from God. You're never going to be able to hide from God. Make the choice today. Choose today. Take the time out today to stop and to listen to what God is saying to you today. 
Have a blessed day today and we'll chat again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.